One of my viewers challenged me to create a deck to defeat the meta at the time, which was Erisha. You have two options to defeat any given meta. One is to go with tech cards, specifically targeting that deck. The other is to go with a massive amount of power, and that is exactly the route we are taking with this deck. Taskmaster is a card that is heading this deck. He reads, on reveal, set this card's power equal to that of the last card you played. So who is Taskmaster copying? That would be Human Torch, who can grow to crazy power levels depending on the cards you play, and those supporting cards are Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, Cloak, and Forge. But how in the world are we protecting Human Torch from Shadow King, Shang-Chi, Killmonger, all kinds of tech, with Falcon, who can of course return your one-cost cards to your hand, and Beast, who ideally is played on turn 5, that way you have free one-cost cards that you can pair with the aforementioned Taskmaster or Arnhem Solo. who can duplicate your Human Torch on the last turn because the Human Torch is free. And you have almost definitely dropped priority because you've pulled all of the cards back into your hand. The deck rounds out with Shang-Chi, who could also be paired with a Human Torch and maybe a Ghost Spider or Iron Fist on the last turn. All right, first up we have Eternal. We have Human Torch and Taskmaster in hand. That's fantastic with the Ghost Spider and the Falcon. That's even more fantastic. We are playing up against a regular deck. Squirrel Girl, that could be some kind of zoo and flood deck. It could be some kind of Killmonger deck. I will play Forge first just to see what deck this is. Okay, it is no longer Killmonger, so I am safe to play my Human Torch and Ghost Spider. I have Iron Fist, that is good. Do I throw them a Ghost Spider? I guess I have to, I don't have to, but I think I want to. Human Torch and Ghost Spider. I can play my cards here, I think, right? No armor, that's actually fantastic, getting rid of armor for me. I did not want armor anyway. There is Ghost Spider over there. Now I have a Cloak, a Falcon, an Iron Fist. I will play Iron Fist here. Nope, wrong, wrong order? Right order? If I draw into Beast, I'm kind of seeing if I can draw into Beast, I think. Because if I draw into Beast... Yeah, I'll do it this way. I get Iron Fist back. Oh, Beast, I won't... Oh, I won't be able to play... Ugh, this is ugly. I'll, I'll play Falcon here. I'll play Falcon here. This is why I hate this deck. <laughs> oh, where we take up the grapple. All right. Move Falcon middle, and now what do I draw into? A Zola. And Forge is in the wrong spot. Falcon is in the wrong spot because I could have Zola'd the Human Torch. So if I play Cloak and then Iron Fist, uh, what is Grapple? After you play your next card, move it to this location. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm so confused. Iron Fist, Human... No, no, no. This is it. We are snapping this. No. What is this? After you play your next card? Oh, I may have snapped prematurely. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, what is my... What does my torch get to? Oh, we got this game in the bag. We got this in the bag. Fantastic. They can't move. Absolutely fantastic. This goes up to 32. Taskmaster comes down for 34 points over there. Plus the three. Oh, this is beautiful. This game came together perfectly. And we never lose. <laughs> the Gilgamesh middle, as expected, but the Human Torch into Taskmaster just blows them away in two lanes. That is all that is important. Victory. And I think we are good here. Let's get to another game. Next up is Spooky. We have Necrotia for the first location. I will say hello back. Hello, hello. My hand is okay. This deck, because it shades toward bounce, you really have to watch where you're playing cards and be able to think out a ton of turns in advance. And I am not the best at that. So this deck can take a little bit of time to perfect and get together. So I will try to leave Necrotia. Do I try to leave Necrotia empty? I guess. I will just play out this second forge. I also have a cloak in this deck which can help clean up lanes. Is this Erisham? Of course it is with a Nakia into Mobius. I am not drawing what I would like. Or oh, then I have the iron, I will wait. I will be patient because this deck either works or it doesn't. So just be patient. And Falcon, they are drawing horribly too. I could do a cloak, that would be six. Or maybe I do Cloak over here. And then Iron Fist Beast? <laughs> Let's see what they play middle. I I might have to draw Sean if this is a big card middle. Oh, Sarah and a Quinjet. I did not draw what I needed, neither did they, but they are just too well positioned with the bonus energy from Erisham, the Quinjet on the board, and Sarah, where if I drew Sean, maybe Shang-Chi, I might be able to get away with playing him middle along with another card and then try to get creative somewhere else, but... We just did not draw what we needed to, and that is how combo decks go. When that happens... Escaped. <laughs> when that happens, you want to retreat later for this exact reason. Because rather than lose a cube, I just got out of here with no losses, because clearly they were drawing poorly as well. And that is ideally how you want to play the game. Okay, next up we have Guille Matos. Altar of Death. Our starting hand is fantastic. We are going up against a normal deck, eight cards on turn one. We have Ghost Spider, Human Torch, Doctor Strange, and Beast. But trying to get them back into our hands with Beast is fantastic. Ooh. <laughs> Deep space, okay. 
I think we can throw away the ghost spider? Human torch and ghost spider. Hey man, I'm cool. And then right now what I'm thinking of is I'm trying to manage what to pull back with beast. That's super important to keep track of. Iron Fist is usually the card you want to keep track of more so but this game is just kind of funky i have five energy so i think i falcon iron fist and then i have the torch in hand i play the torch in deep space that moves back over to altar of death no, because then I won't be then I won't have space. <laughs> so do I Doctor Strange and then Iron Fist? Maybe? Question mark? I need to draw into Sorcerer Supreme. Zola, I think. But if I have Iron Fist, I can still draw into Taskmaster and be fine. Okay, there's Zola. I really have to think through this. I Falcon? I Falcon? <laughs> Falcon... Brings back Iron Fist and Human Torch. I play those... I play that down with Beast? No... Well, oh, I don't have enough energy? Ay ay ay. Deep Space is just... Messing me up. Falcon is fine. Falcon is fine and see what I draw into. Yes, because I still have space to play Beast if I need to, and take all the cards up. So let's see. There's Taskmaster. So I think it's Zola, and try to win Tiebreaker, but I also have options. So with Human Torch, Iron Fist, and Beast, the reason I'm playing it this way is so I can pick up all of these cards and have Iron Fist again in my hand. So then I can play Iron Fist and then move the Human Torch into Altar of Death and then play the Zola. But I only have six energy. I don't know. This deck is too big brain for me. Way too big brain. I think I am playing this right. This is the only reason I haven't snapped, is because it is super hard for me to calculate all of these moves and powers, and I know I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, so let's think through this. Let's think, let's think. We have a six cost Zola. Iron Fist moves left, and a Doctor Strange, and six energy. So if I play, I can't play the rock. Iron Fist, on! Torch, no, Iron Fist, Torch, Iron Fist, what the heck am I doing? Iron Fist, Taskmaster, Torch? And went on Tiebreaker? Did I play this right? 
<laughs> I don't have a clue. There's Torch. We copy that with Taskmaster. Torch doubles again. And then I win by more than 19 points? <laughs> hey. uh, <laughs> what, a, what a game. This is a fantastic example of how difficult this deck is to pilot. I am glad I was able to think through this really bizarre play line, quite frankly. But I got there. The, I kept forgetting the Human Torch was moving my cards away, so I made, needed to make sure I have enough in Mojo World. Deep Space was a problem this game. But I, I eventually got there with enough of the beast discounts Moving the Human Torch, being able to play the Taskmaster, and just going into Tiebreaker. Ideally, I would have liked to have played Iron Fist and then the Arnim Zola play maybe, but also they put up a decent amount of points across two lanes. So I really only had a bunch of points in one lane, so Tiebreaker was in actuality the way to go. But again, this deck is pretty difficult to pilot. You will take your losses if you start with it until you kind of sort through how to come up with wins that look like this that aren't what we saw earlier, just a very straightforward Human Torch and copying that with Taskmaster. Okay, next up, we are in the Octagon. Scary stuff. We have our Human Torch and Taskmaster. We have a tech card in Shang-Chi but nothing to move our human torch around we have the falcon to pull him back up we are going up against a normal deck eight cards four in hand and their first card is quicksilver so clearly they are a wiccan deck dream dimension is not great but if we draw into beast sometimes that just doesn't matter Okay, so it is definitely Iron Fist into Human Torch. And we will try to leave left open for a potential Arnim Zola. They are using all of the power on their curve, so they're still holding out for Wiccan. Next turn right now, we will do the Falcon play. Uh, go Spider first. Ghost Spider and Falcon, that brings three back to my hand. If I draw into B... Ew, this is just going to be funky, too, because of Dream Dimension. So they got their extra energy, so they are kind of unaffected by Dream Dimension, Dream Dimension as much as you can be. Our Ghost Spider pulls back the Human Torch. We pull those three back into our hand. All according to plan. And now, we are in kind of a tough spot. Because with that five energy, what I could have done is play Cloak, Iron Fist, and Human Torch. And gotten a 32 power torch and then copied that with Taskmaster. So that is how this game works. But with a combo deck, it's kind of easy to knock that aside with locations. So I think... I do the Iron Fist into Human Torch. Nobody snapped, and see how that goes. Iron Heart, too. That's not great. For them. With all that extra energy, and you just play an Iron Heart. So that kind of is tempting to stay in the game, quite frankly. We have a 16 power torch. So I could double that with just Taskmaster. I could play the Zola. And that gives up one, the left lane. It kind of depends on where they can play. I am super vulnerable to Sean 
You have to remember you can't Ghost Spider and then play Taskmaster because Taskmaster will copy the Ghost Spider. So that is why pulling Iron Fist back into the hand is more important. I will play the Taskmaster and we'll land him middle. Ooh. That might have been the wrong move. It was the wrong move indeed. Or is... How's my math? <laughs> Not good, but I will take the win. I guessed wrong about the lane they were going to power up, but it did not matter. I played it in this way. I could have ultimately played them both in the same lane. So yeah, we just barely overpowered them. This wasn't a super clean win, but also they were not drawing well. Nobody had snapped, so I was willing to see it through. Ultimately, I guessed the wrong lane. It should have been right. And if I had zola Zola would have actually lost. This put more power on the board, the Taskmaster and Ghost Spider, which is why I went. That's 18 total power instead of the 16. And we were able to pull out a super thin win. Okay, next up is Smo. White Hot Room. They are running an Arishem deck. Well, let's see if we can take down Big Bad Arishem. Quinjet is nice for them. White Hot Room, if they get that, is just absolutely fantastic. Attilan is not great. So we will just kind of hope we draw into Beast or Falcon after Attilan poses our hand. So next turn is going to be Human to Torch and the Ghost Spider. I guess I play Human Torch here. And let's see if they are able to fill up White Hot Room. It might not matter. Even if they have all that extra energy and Quinjet, we shall see. Because they will, f if they fill, that should be easy enough for us to win. Now, they might have the Acid Arrow, so that would require us drawing back into Falcon. And for such a great hand, we had all of our lower curve card, we had all of our lower curve cards in our hand. So, Attilan is kind of rough because we have to send back in Falcon and Beast. I will take the armor loss, no problem. Fantastic, Human Torch went middle, that is perfect. And now we play there, so we may both end up hitting the extra energy. I really need, really need Falcon or Beast. I do not have them. <laughs> so let's see. I think I will... Do I cloak? Hmm, this is tough. What's my torch at? 28? I almost always win this if I can get him separate. So I'm gonna snap. How do I get him separated? If I play strange and then cloak? I think that does it. So they're gonna get the extra energy. Sorcerer Supreme. Playing Cloak middle, I don't like doing that, but I couldn't play him left. Because, well, I guess I should have. I should have. That was that was a mistake. Oh, but actually they can move anyway. They're not stuck there. So, okay. That's fine. That is not an issue. So, I... This torch is at 56. Oof. So Taskmaster is copying Cloak, so I don't want to do that. So I think it is just Sean Middle and try to grab priority. Move Strange. That way I have Torch by himself. So this is kind of a telegraphed play. They whiffed. They whiffed on the Shadow King because I didn't move Torch. <laughs> they whiffed. Fantastic. 
that is something to keep in mind. I don't know if Shadow King... Oh, Shadow King is here. Shadow King did come in their deck. They brought Shadow King on purpose. And Cloak is a huge bait for Shadow King if you have Torch on the board. So just remember that. Like I said, leaving Torch by himself is a huge telegraphed play. So they figured I had Zola, I'm sure. And with a 56 power, they can play whatever they want middle. Except for Sean. <laughs> so Sean, of course, does beat us middle. But they have 19 cards in their deck. So you can't really play around any single card in an Arishem deck. You just have to take the loss if they have the card, like they had Shadow King. But the Cloak baited out Shadow King, so they no longer had their tech card. They, in all likelihood, did not draw into Sean, Shang Shi. And so we just Zola that sucker over, cross two lanes, 56 plus. You're for a last turn play of 104 power. I'll take that every time I can get it. And we took down Airsham. Big shout out to everybody that's made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching the majority of my video. And for those that have left, ah! thanks for watching, make it to the end. I also would like to thank all of my members who have decided to join the channel. Huge thanks. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. And it's such a big help to the channel and having me grow. I also would like to thank me for coming up with these fantastic decks. No, with this deck specifically, it is a combo deck and it is draw dependent. Just like in Mr. Negative, how you need Ravona and you need Mr. Negative, and then also you probably need some other pieces, especially like Jane Foster. So you need your typically either Beast or Falcon to continue moving around Storm. I mean, to continue moving around Human Torch. You need Zola and Taskmaster, one or the other. Shang-Chi is in there just for the odd games that go a little bit weird. You did get to see a, a weird game. It didn't involve Sean, but some of these games go weird, especially with these combo heavy decks. So if you give it a try, I would expect some losses. I would expect some bad piloting, so really inspect. Was this a piloting error or was this a deck fault? And otherwise, just try to have fun and enjoy yourself. Okay, Papa J Squats. From the Big Alliance. Let's see how they stack up. We have our Iron Fist and Cloak move activators. We have Beast to take back the Human Torch we do not have. This is a Destroy st deck, so we snap because we have armor. And hope they do not have Carnage. If they do, we can always cloak. There it is. We can always try to cloak and I move the armor. Need to change my underwear. So we will see. The raft. This is going to be the weirdest looking game. <laughs> by the way <laughs> so I almost definitely raft and then I play beast next turn oh they're gonna have priority right oh fantastic <laughs> they have priority so this moves first actually and then I can beast them back so that's what I will do. And now they get filled. Let's see if they have a plan here. Yeah, they, they just filled themselves. And because we didn't have priority... Two Zolas. <laughs> okay. And now we've just taken that back. Of course, they can Killmonger now. So that is an issue. White Hot Room. Hmm. Yeah, so they're gonna kill Monger. But I have Sean. 
and a free Zola. So I actually could Sean every lane? <laughs> oh boy. Cloak here. Cloak here. Sean here. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Because I can Zola. And this still, I'm still kind of predicated on drawing into Human Torch, unfortunately. Just Taskmaster, man, that's rough. Taskmaster to copy the three. And then if I Zola here, and then two, for the record, this is, I'm not convinced this is a good stay. <laughs> I'm really not. But, uh, wait a second. If I Zola, what is worth more points? It actually doesn't matter. Uh. Is this Galactus? Cut off one head, two more shall take Oh, they had pre- I had priority. Good God, I had priority. <laughs> 